Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how, as an elementary general education teacher, you can access your new district social studies resource called Studies Weekly. Uh, so if I am a social studies elementary school teacher, you're going to use the same process no matter what grade level you teach. So all of this has been set up for you on its learning. So if I go to its learning and I sign in, I'm going to want to go to my AM homeroom course. So AM homeroom course for 2022. And this is probably what your its learning page looks like here because we build them off of a template. So there's some common pieces there. And then on, uh, I can technically get to my social studies page by going over here to the left, clicking BCSE elementary curriculum resources. Otherwise, if I just click the resources button, I'm going to see it listed here. So it's called BCSE elementary curriculum resources. And then all of my content is there. So that's how I can also get to my other HMH resources as well. So if I click Social Studies Weekly, but whatever you click this button, the Social Studies week Weekly icon, it's a linked picture, so it should open a new window. If it doesn't open a new window, then it might be that your pop-up blocker on your device, especially if you have a new computer, or if you're a new hire, or if you had your laptop re-imaged, you'll probably have to enable pop-ups for its learning. And on the written guide, I have a tutorial on how to disable that. So um, if it's not opening a new window, you might see a little alert up here across the URL banner, and that's just telling you that your pop-up blocker is getting in the way. All right, so whenever I click this icon, it's going to open a new window and it's going to prompt me to sign in. And this is really what that is going to look like. So it's going to say the screen that says Clever. And if you're thinking, well, what's Clever? I'm trying to get to Social Studies Weekly. Uh, Clever is the rostering tool that we use to roster and set up your accounts on Studies Weekly. So if you see this Clever screen, then you are in the correct place. And what you're going to do is click this Google icon and that's going to sign you in. This is the exact same process that your students are going to see. So when your students click the Studies Weekly icon, they're going to have a new window open and they should also just click this Login with Google button. When you click the Login with Google button, it's going to ask you what Google account you want to use. If you're on a Chromebook, there's only going to be one account that you can pick from, if at all. So it should sign you in from there. All right, so once I am signed in to Studies Weekly, um, this is what my teacher screen will look like. Now, if you're thinking my grade level or my content area doesn't look quite right, just know that this is syncing every single day with PowerSchool and a lot of our administrative assistants just came back into the office and some of them are still fixing some changes and they put some placeholder classes in there before they left for the summer so that a class would be created for you and you wouldn't have like no access, but it might not be the right course. So if you see your content here and you can access it, but you don't have the right students yet, just know that those things are being fixed all this week. And by the week of the UDL Institute and all that good stuff, you should be a little bit better shape. So when I'm signed in, this is what the main screen looks like here for teachers. And there's a couple of things that are helpful to point out. This button here takes you through a guided tutorial on how to navigate the interface. And I would do that. The, it's from the publisher and is really thorough and detailed. Uh, but the key thing is, is that whenever you have a class made, they're going to show up right here. And technically, your students won't be able to access any publications or text or assignments in Studies Weekly until you assign it to your class first. And that's something that you as the teacher manually have to do. I cannot do that for you on the admin side of things. This is something that you have to do as the teacher. So what I need to do is add a publication to my grade level class. And it's really easy to do. So to do that, I need to sign in here. I need to click the classes button. It's going to show all of my grade level classes there. So I'm just gonna to go to um, this class right here and I click publications. And it looks like there might be one there already, but in case I go here and there's not, um, which is what 90% of you will probably see, I'm going to click this little blue add publication access. And it's going to show me all of the grade level content that I need, and I could add that to this class. So this is a second grade class, so I'm going to click it. And whenever I have selected it, I'm going to click add. Um, so helpful thing to know is that you have to do that step first. Um, I am in a temporary, like impersonating a teacher account right now, so that's why it's being a little weird. Um, but you have to add that publication. Otherwise, when a student logs in, they won't see anything. That is the teacher tutorial on this, and you can access all of your other pieces here on the left-hand side of the screen. And if you have any questions, please contact the elementary curriculum office or enter A360. Thank you.